We got number three. All right. Okay, let's move on. This is dope so far. I've been thinking, Professor. Shouldn't we be keeping a record of our investigation? You've brought up a very good point, Luke. Let me explain how to go about saving your game. First, tap the stylus on the trunk of in the upper right corner of the touch screen. This trunk contains all manner of information that you can access by tapping the icons. Touch the icon marked Save to save your game. Tap the journal icon to read over notes about our adventure at St. Mysteer. Next, we have the Puzzle Index icon. Tap it to view all the puzzles you've encountered. Puzzles you've solved have a check next to them. Puzzles you've seen but haven't solved are blank. You can retry any puzzles you've solved from this screen. To retry puzzles that you haven't solved yet, you must return to the actual site of the puzzle. Don't be afraid to use the items in the trunk to help our investigation. It'll be second nature soon enough. Enough explanation for now. Let's make our way to Reinhold Manor. Uh, look at the top screen. An arrow marks our path on the map, so all we need to do is head in the correct direction. Lead the way, Professor. Dope. All right, I'm going to save. Oh, after this. Chapter 1. Reinhold Manor awaits. Make your way to Reinhold Manor on the east side of town. Save your progress. Of course. Thanks for asking me. I'm an aggressive saver in case you didn't know. Dope. All right, let's. Who's this man? Who's this man? Oh, hello. I'm Percy, St. Mysterious unofficial writer in residence. Reinhold Manor, you ask? Head up that road to the right. It's immense, so you'll know when you see it. But before you go, why not try your hand at this puzzle I thought up? See if you can figure out which house is mine from the instructions I give you. I'll even sweeten the deal for you. If you manage to solve this puzzle, I'll tell you about this village. So how about it? You will try, won't you? After all, a writer is nothing without an audience. Here we go. Number four. It's worth 20 picarats, which means we're about to get the business. <laughs> Can you find my house? Go out, to the, go out the front door of my place and turn left. At the first intersection you come across, take a right, turn right again. At the following intersection, you'll come face to face with the morning sun. Circle my house. Okay. <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Face to face with the morning sun. The sun rises in the east or in the west. Let's see. I used to take pictures. See, see, here's here's where my photography background comes into comes into play. Uh, early mornings, back in college, I used to have trouble sleeping. So what I would do is, if I couldn't sleep during the night, I just stay up all night. And if it comes to five or six a.m. and I still can't go to sleep, what I would do is I go to the garage buildings, the parking garage buildings, and I take pictures of the sun rising. The sun would rise in that way direction. That's east. That's east for me over that way. Round yonder that way is east for me. So the sun rises in the east. What he's saying is at the end of this puzzle, if we follow his directions, we'll be facing east. We'll be facing east somewhere. Does that help us? Hell no. <laughs> okay. So what we need to do is go backwards through his directions. So the first direction. Oh, I need, I need a notepad. I should have I should have been prepared. That's one of the things I did need when I played uh what was it? Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney. I eventually I needed to start taking notes. I needed to take notes. It was entirely too much logic for me to do off my Brian. So, let's see. At the end of this, directions are go out the front door and turn left. At the first intersection, take a right, turn right again at the following intersection, and you'll come face to face with the morning sun. Okay, so basically what it is, you, you, from wherever you start, you make a left, you make a right and a right, and you're face to face with the morning sun. What the hell does that mean? 
Is the morning sun a trick? Is that is that a is that a thing? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Go out the front door and turn left. Next intersection, make a right. Next intersection, make a right. Okay, so let me draw that out. Just like I'm just using a note card. I'm drawing that out. I'm drawing that out without any distinction for the map. I'm just drawing what that looks like. If I were anywhere, any given location, and I go out the front door and I make a turn left, at the first intersection, I turn right. At the next intersection, I turn right. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this well. Let's see. It will look something like that. That dot is the starting point. And then the end of the line is the end point. That's face to face with the morning sun. Now, what I can do is I can take this and turn it in different directions to see where I am. I want, oh, oh, one thing that's missing. I want to be face to face with the morning sun. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. I see what I did right. I see what I did right and what's what could be confusing. I need for this arrow to be facing the direction that's actually facing right now. So I kind of don't want to turn it, I think. That would mean that this man's house is this one? Is this house here? That's what I think. Because if we leave there, if we leave there, we end up on the road here and turn left. First intersection, we make a right turn. And then the next intersection, we make a right turn. We should now be face to face with the morning sun. That's also the only house we can do this from. So that would be this house here. I think that's it. I think that's this one. Circle his house. I believe that's it. I believe that's the house. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That should do it. Did it. <laughs> Critical thinking is the key to success. We're four for four, baby. <laughs> That's right. This is a problem with working backwards gets the job done fastest. It takes far too long to check each house individually. Dope. And that's exactly what... Man, I got it. That's exactly what we needed. The morning sun. You just need to know which direction the morning sun or the sun rises in is what it's getting at. If you didn't know that the sun rises in the east, you're screwed. That that one that one was near impossible to do. Impressive. I thought I'd set out the quite quite the puzzle, but you made short work of it. Now for that gossip, I promise you. The Freinhold family owns all of the land this village is upon uh, built upon. I hear they own all the buildings too. I guess you could say this town sort of belongs to the Reinholds. Well, I'll be on my way now, but rest assured that the next time we meet, I'll have a harder puzzle for you. Puzzle number four, baby. What do you guys think so far about this uh, this game? What do you think so far? I, I'm enjoying it. I like this. This is dope. Hey, we found the hint coin. Uh-oh. There's something in the clock. That clock tower is far worse for the wear. Speaking of clocks, I've got just the puzzle for you. Admittedly, it concerns a more modern type of clock, but never mind that minor detail. Here we go. Here goes Leighton with his puzzles. What the hell? Oh, come on. <laughs> 50 Picarots. Remember, as the, as the number of Picarots scale, the puzzle gets harder. Here we go with this nonsense. Imagine a digital clock like the one shown below. To the right for you guys. How many times will the clock display three or more of the same number in a row over the course of one day? In case you are wondering, the clock in this puzzle displays time on a 12-hour scale, not on military time. Okay. So what he's asking us, or what the puzzle was asking us, is how many times will the numbers on the clock repeat over the course of one day? For example, 333. Oh, uh, we it wants to repeat three or more times in a row. 
So three, three, three. Um, this is kind of an easy puzzle. You just have to be paying attention to what it's asking you. Okay. So let's list all the times that numbers repeat. And it's a 12 hour scale. So it's not going to ask us one o'clock PM. It's only asking from, I guess, midnight to any given day on any given day to 11.59 on any given day, 11.59 uh, a.m. or noon to 11.59 p.m., whichever way you want to look at it. That's what it's asking. So there's 111, 222, 333, or I should say 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, and that should be it. Because you can't have 666 on the clock. Six hours and then 66 minutes in would actually be seven hours and six minutes in. So, so far we're at one, two, three, four, and five repeating three times. Now we want the numbers in a row. So, 10, 10, 11 doesn't count because we have zero in between the first one and the second, uh, the, the other two ones. But 11, 11 counts. So that's four. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. And then 11, 11 makes six. I believe that's it. Yeah, there's no other ways it can go. For a 12-hour scale, there's no other ways it can happen. There's six different ways. 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, and 11, 11. Shoot. No, sorry. Sorry, I missed one. 1222. <laughs> 1222 because it has three numbers repeating in a row. It doesn't say all the numbers have to be the same. 1222, you have three twos in a row. Uh-oh, I missed another one. 10 o'clock. Oh, oh, no. All of the o'clocks. Oh, no. I need a... I need a bigger note card. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my homework. Let's see. So we got, we got midnight. Oh no, midnight doesn't count. Sorry, none of the clocks count. Oh, oh, oh! I started writing and things made more sense. Okay, so none of the clock. Oh, let me let me try that again. Ten o'clock does. Ten o'clock has. Let me make sure I'm talking into the thing. Ten o'clock has three zeros. It's the only a clock with three zeros. Then there's one eleven, two twenty two, three. He thought he had me. Professor Layton thought he had me. No, fifty points. Oh boy, you go get this work, fam. I used to be just like this in school. <laughs> I used to be just like this in school. Let's see. So I have ten o'clock, one eleven, two twenty two, three thirty three, four forty four. 555. We also said 1111 since that's really just another round of 111 because it has three, at least three in a row. We have 1222. Okay, did I miss anything this time? 10 o'clock, 111, 222, 333, 444. 555, 11, 11, 12, 22. Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. Did I? Let me check my work. Professor Layton. Ooh, he thought he got me. Boy, you don't even know who you messing with. I think that's everything. I feel like I missed one, but that uh, that looks like everything. Since you can't have sixes show up, and this is only a 12, I'm sorry, since you can't have sixes show up in the minutes place twice, and then this is a 12 hour clock, this is it. It's those eight 10 o'clock, 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, 1111, and 1222. That's it. I'm putting eight. If this is wrong, I'm fighting Professor Layton. Oh, I have to write it like this? Great. 
Y'all can't just give me a keyboard. Y'all have to make me do real homework as well. I hope that's it. I think that's it. Here we go. Well, yes, my guess. Oh no! I messed up. I'm so embarrassed. Give it another shot. Are you sure you haven't forgotten a few possible combinations? Also, don't forget that you. Ah, oh, it did count. Damn it! It did count a.m. and p.m. He said it was a 12-hour clock. He cheated. <laughs> Don't forget you need to double. Okay, so instead of 8 is 16, because all of these times are valid for both a.m. and p.m. So instead of 8 is 16. Let's try again. So it's going to demonstrate losing points. There we go. Uh, let's see. That would be, what, a tenth? Okay, we only lost a tenth of, uh, a tenth of our possible points. That's fine. That's okay. All right, fine. If it's not 8, it's 16. Because, again, 10 o'clock, 1 a.m. I'm sorry, 10 o'clock, 1 11, 2 22, 3 33, 4 44, 5 55, 11 11, 12 22. All of those for a.m. and p.m. So 8 times 2 is 16. I can't believe this game. I can't believe this game. 16. If this is wrong, oh, I'm fighting everybody. This game. Well, here's my guess. What? How is this still wrong? Oh, what did I do wrong it. this time? What went wrong this time? Give me a hint. I need a hint. I clearly need a hint. As mentioned earlier, this digital clock works on a 12-hour display system. That means you'll cycle through the numbers twice a day. Therefore, okay. Therefore, you need to submit for that. You said that already. Give me, nope. Give me another one. Give me another one. You probably have already picked up a combination like 111 and 222, but finding the less obvious combinations is what makes up for the real meat. Yeah, we did that. Did you, did you remember to include 10 o'clock? Yes, we got 10 o'clock, fam. What do you mean? What am I missing? What's wrong here? What the hell is this nonsense? All right, give me give me that last hint. Give me that last hint. Twelve twenty-two is another easy combination. Oh no! <laughs> I missed the really hard one. Eleven twelve because that's also. Oh no, I missed so many then. Because if we got 11-12, if we have 11-11, we got 11-10. Oh my God, I actually missed a lot there. Okay, okay, Professor Layton, the joke's on me. Let me do my homework real quick, guys. Let me do my homework. Shit. <laughs> okay, hang on, I think I got, I think I got them all now. Let's see. This is nonsense. This is nonsense. Okay. So we have 10 o'clock, 111, 222, 333, 444, 555. We have 1222. Then we have, a, that's seven right there. Then we have 1110 through 1119. So that's another 10. So that's 17. That's just AM o'clock. AM. So that's 17 for just AM. So double that so we can have PM. And we're at 34. The hell? This is nonsense. <laughs> this is the worst puzzle yet, boys. All right, we're down to 40. So 34 is the correct answer. If they if that ain't right, we fighting. We fighting Leighton. 34. 12. 12.20. Yeah. Only 12.22 can be used for okay. If that ain't right, we fighting. How does this sound? This is 
This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, he got me. He got me. That's humbling. He got me. Very good. A series of three or more numbers of the same digit appears 34 times over the course of 24 hours. It's easy enough to spot times like blah, blah, blah. Just shut up. <laughs> shut up. Precisely the answer I was looking for, Luke. Well done, my boy. Okay. Now I look dumb. <laughs> All right. Nothing else? We good? Oh, found a coin. That's fine. That's okay. All right, let's make moves. We got to move towards that arrow. Professor, look at that man standing in the street. He's blocking the path up to Reinhold Manor. How terribly rude. Perhaps he'll move for us, but I have a feeling he has no intention of doing anything of the sort. All right, let's grab this. That was obvious. Anything here? Yep. All right, let's talk to this man. Hold up. Never seen you two here before. What's a couple of fresh faces like yourself doing here? We're here by invitation of the Reinholds. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have business through the gate. Business with the Reinholds, is that so? Something strange here. Yeah, you're fishing, Pim. I don't trust you, that's for sure, but I'll let you pass if you can solve this riddle, see? Just to warn you, it's a tough one. Is it going to be easy, is it? No way. Definitely not going to be easy. This is madness. This game is madness, boy. Lightweight. It's another hard puzzle. They are here to make fun of me today. <laughs> it's worth 40 pick rides. Here we go. Here we have eight small weights that all look the same. However, one of the weights in the group is slightly larger than the rest. Using the scale two times, can you figure out which of the weights is lighter than the rest? Oh, using it two times, you can figure out which of the weights is lighter than the rest. So which weight is the light one? We only get two attempts. That kind of sucks. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can evaluate how to do this to figure out which ones we need to put on twice. Load the weights you want to measure onto the scale with your stylus. When you've finished arranging the weights, press the red button to weigh them. If both sides if both sides stay the same if both sides stay level. There we go. It means the loads on both sides of the scale are equal weight. Once you found the right weight, place in the answer area and submit tap or tap submit. Let's see, that sounds like rain. I hope we don't lose connection. Alright. So one of these is lighter than the rest of them. There, there's eight weights. Some of them have the same weight. One of them is lighter. So immediately what I want to do, immediately what I want to do is put half of them on one side, half on the other. Whichever side goes up is the side that has the lighter weight. I then want to take those four split them in half one side will go up again and that side has the lighter but i don't get to know between the two which is lighter so i need to do i need to come up with a better way that way's not wrong it just doesn't tell me for sure which one's lighter now what i have in my head is i can do five and three I'm gambling at that point because if the three has the lighter one, sorry, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Wait, wait a second. Hang on. My brain just turned the hell on. Let me see. If I do that, clearly whatever side has the five is going to be heavier. No, that doesn't work. Never mind. Never mind. That doesn't work. Whatever. That doesn't tell me which one has the lighter. Obviously, three of them on both sides is going to be the same weight. And then the two others is going to make it way down. So it doesn't tell us which side has the lighter one. I, I'm sorry. 
at least two on both sides are going to weigh the same, and then the other three are going to make it mess up. So that doesn't work. Three, five doesn't work. We have eight small weights. Using the scale only twice, we can figure out which one's lighter than the rest. This one's actually, this one's a fun one. I like this one. Let's see. What I want to do is split them up into four, four and four. One of them will clearly be lighter. One of the sides will clearly be lighter. That side will be in the air. Split it again. Again, it'll be lighter. There'll be two on both sides. One of them has to be lighter. And that side will be in the air. But we can only use the scale twice. We can't figure it out. Hang on. Hang on. I think I can I think I could get this one actually. Let me draw something out. So we have 8 of them. We have 8. We have 8 and what I want to do is put 4 on one side, 4 on the other. Obviously, if I do that and only one of them is lighter. If I do that and only one of them is lighter, then that one will be that side, whatever one side has the lighter one will be in the air. I don't think I want to split the lighter side in half and put both sides back on. Do I want to take... No. I was going to say, do I want to take one of the two of the lighter side? I'm sorry, two of the ones from the lighter side, put them on, and take two from the other. But no, that, does, that just does the exact same thing. I feel like I'm getting close. I feel like I'm getting close. Here's my diagram. I'm using the same note card. It's the top left corner. I split them into four. Two rows of four. One of those rows is holding the lighter one. I won't know which one off rip. I won't know which one off rip. Okay. Let me see. Hey, you want to help me with this puzzle, man? It's really mathy. It's really mathy. <coughs> okay. So what I'm looking at is this right here. Okay? So here's here's the here's how it works, okay? okay. So I have eight eight weight. Alright. Of these eight weights, seven of them weigh the same thing. And one of them is lighter. Okay? Now, I can only use this scale twice to figure out which one is the lighter one. How do you think I should go about it? Yeah. Seven of them weigh the same. The one that doesn't is lighter than the rest. The two is how many times I have left. You're talking about this two here? That's how many times left I have to try. I haven't tried anything yet. I'm trying to figure it out. I have a bunch of ways I can get it down to knowing between two of them, one is lighter than the other, but not which one is light. I, I thought of like three or four different ways, and they all get down to me having two of them, one is lighter than the other. But none of them get me down to this one is the lightest one, or the one that's lighter than the rest. You, you, got, you think you got it? <laughs> Let me see. Three. Oh, I did. I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Okay. I think I got it. Okay. So what I wanted to do at first was take four of them, put, put them on one side, take four and put them on the other. Obviously, if only one is lighter than the rest, the side that has the lighter one will go up. But if I do that, the, the closest I can get down is two. So if I take three of them, put them on one side, put three on the other, then if they stay the same, that means all six of those weigh the same, and I'm stuck with two. And then I just put those two on, 
and it figures it out. But if all three of those, if one of those three is different. Oh, 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 I got to write this one out. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. The stream is just watching me go crazy. <laughs> this is like the sixth puzzle I've lost it on. <laughs> Let me see. I think I got it. Okay, so in the event, there's an easy way to do it that way, and there's a hard way. If I put three on, on both sides, then one of two things can happen. They can all weigh the same, and they'll stay even. I'll know that the other two need to go on, one on each side, and that will tell me which one's lighter. But in the event that the lighter one is one of the six, let's say, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, and the one, two, three side goes up. Then I've got to get really lucky. Figure out. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, hang on. One, two, three. One, two, three. Babe. I figured it out. I figured it out. If one, two, three, if I put, come here, no, never mind. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and say it if I try to explain it too many times. Uh, okay, so the bottom there, I can't believe I'm showing chat my homework. <laughs> okay, so the bottom here where I have three on one side, three on the other. Let's assume one, two, three is the side that's lighter. That means that side goes up. What I need to do is take one put that on one side and take either two or three from this side and take one of the other ones from the other side and put that on the other side of the scale. If one goes up, one is the lighter one. No, that, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Because if we know four, five, six is light. I'm sorry, we know four, five, six all the way the same. Hang on, I need to try that. Cause that I think that does work. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I can fight everybody. Here's one, two, three here. Four, five, six here. It it order doesn't matter. I just need the game to tell me certain things. That's all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if these are even, all I have to do is take seven or eight, put them, seven and eight, put them both on either side, weigh it out. Okay, so one, two, three is heavier than four, five, six. That means the lighter one is either four, five, or six. I don't have to worry about seven or eight. We know those are the same. So the lighter one is either four, five, or six. Let me, let me my notes i need to go i'm going to walmart before the next stream i'm getting a new notebook it's gonna be my going insane notebook okay so these are the lighter ones some somewhere between four five or six is the light weight what i need to do now is take four i need to take one of them put it on one side Uh-uh. I did it. I did it. I take I take one of the weights from the light side and put it with one of the weights from the even side. I take another weight from the light side and put that with another weight from the even side. Whichever one goes up is the lighter one. Whichever number goes up again is the lighter one. I did it. I did it. My fourth grade teacher would be so proud right now. And if neither goes up, then the one that I didn't put on twice is the is the light one my fourth grade teacher would be so proud right now he was like this bad this bad's god places okay so i have one and five on one side and four and two on the other if one and five goes up five is the lightweight if four and two goes up 
four is lightweight. And if neither goes up, six is lightweight. I did it. Five is the lightweight. Luke, here's my answer. Another puzzle solved. A genius! Everybody, everybody get your phone out. Everybody get your phone out. Text your mother. Mom, chill is a genius. Text her right now. Text her. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.